Blurg, 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 la blurg, la blurgy blurg, nam nam tak, nam nam tak. Hadouken, 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 oh, god damn. <clears throat> Alright, um, <laughs> yeah, alright, alright. Um, hello everybody, uh, I was invited to the Battlefield 3 Alpha, I was really excited that I got an invite in the first place, so now that I've played the shit out of it, uh, I wanted to just, you know, share some thoughts about my experiences, my thoughts, and uh, yeah, just overall how the Alpha feels and what I think about Battlefield this, this far. Um, just quickly about you know, just ju just the um, just, just a little more um, uh, general stuff. The sound, the graphics, the feel of the game, and all of that. The the new changes that it is optimized for PC. It is uh, it has shown us much love to us PC gamers. Finally, we've gotten a, a lot of dick <laughs> uh, recently. I mean, f screw recently for a very long time. We have been neglected by developers, and and it sucks, man. It sucks balls. Finally, we have a game that is not only optimized perfectly for the PC. I mean, it's 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 built. It's built from the ground up to be a PC game first and foremost, and it shows. And it shows. Um, the, fir the very first seconds. As I, that was actually pretty funny. The very first seconds, as I joined the, the fir very first server in in, um, in the alpha, the first thing that happened was I died. I just got shot in the head by some guy who was just waiting for my, uh, f waiting for me at, at my spawn. He, I was spawning as a, I spawned as a Russian. That was my very first server, and there was some dude just waiting, just chilling behind a couple of rocks and just owned me and I was like yeah <laughs> I was I was so <laughs> I was so ready to just rage quit and just say you know what fuck the alpha I'll just wait for you know if they release a uh, open beta beta for us who didn't pre-order you know Medal of Honor or anything but you know I, I I hung in there I hung in there and I'm really 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 glad I did because the the alpha if 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 I am to judge Battlefield 3, I mean the finished product, uh, on just the alpha, then damn, we've got a juggernaut of a game waiting for us. I mean, it's it's it's. I, I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. I thought that the feel of the game was just right. It was, it was it, it, the pace was a lot faster, but it wasn't you know it wasn't too hectic. It wasn't too hectic. I didn't feel like, uh, you know, I was you know, Quake 3 arena style hectic. I think that, uh, I mean, they really nailed the pacing. I think that now a lot of... Everybody is gonna <laughs> get killed and get a lot more kills a lot faster. Um, but at the same time, I don't think it diminishes the option for, you know, advanced tactics or communication between teams or anything um, at all. So... Uh, I have to commend them for that. That the pacing is just flawless, in my opinion. It it, it really, blah. Something happened around here in my home. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, the pacing feels absolutely right. The feel of the game is great. Um, the graphics. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've never really given, you know, much thought and about graphics in games. They. I've, I've never been a graphic junkie in any kind of way, but like here, the first thing I thought when I saw how everything looked, first of all, it looks like a, a gazillion times better than it does in any, you know, E3 trailer or anything like that. It looks beyond that. Um, but what I what I was thinking about was that I wasn't thinking about the graphics. Everything was just so smooth and 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 and, and, and just. Just, I mean, it was crazy. You you weren't thinking about the graphics at all. You just, like, looking at it, it was everything looked so realistic that you, it was like, you know, stepping out in your garden and playing some paintball with your friends or something. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's just so... It, not only does it look realistic, but it feels 
right. The, the graphics design, the design of of, um, of Operation Metro that we were playing was absolutely. It was great. It was great. It was, it was a varied map too. The design was absolutely cool. Uh, you start off in like a park, then you made your way to like the subway uh, area where we you know where the rail rail the railroad is, where where all the all the trains are going and everything. And then you make your way to the like the towing toll station, and then finally out into the urban area, into the and like the streets of Paris, which is which was just nuts. Like the first time I, I got goosebumps. I'm not gonna lie. The first time I walked out there and saw the sun, you know, the blur effect, I was like, shit, this is madness. And then I was like, I was just busy with exploring the map as, as much as I could. Just taking, just soaking it all in. And, and, and as for the sound, I mean, for all of you who played Bad Company too, you know how great the sound there, the, it was there, but BF3 just takes a big, just diarrhea dump on on Bad Company 2. I mean, it's got Bad Company 2's got nothing on BF3. The sound is just beyond phenomenal. When you shoot with, you know, different weapons, they all have their little, you know, their distinguished little feel, a little clicking sound. Like the AK74 has a little, has more of a metallic sound to it. Like when uh, when when you shoot, you ha you hear the little buttstock go, duk, 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 duk. and it really sounds metallic, and and the M16 sounds a little plastic, <laughs> but still, I mean, it sounds awesome. And, like you can really distinguish the different sounds from each other. It was it's crazy, and and the, all the sounds make different sounds depending on where you are. If you're outside in the park, it makes one kind of sound. If you're in the tunnels, it makes it different. And if you're in the tunnel in a in a room. It makes it completely different there too. I mean, it's absolutely nuts what what they've done with the sound. It's crazy. It was absolutely. Oh, oh. I mean, I just can't wait to get my hands. I'm, I mean, I feel like I feel I've, I feel like I'm I'm a drug junkie, and I, <laughs> and you've just taken away my heroin. Like, fuck! Give me the game. Give me the finished product. Don't give me like a. Don't tease me like this. This is this is evil. Like they, they if it was shit, then they could tease me as much as they want because it's bad. Who cares? But I really thought that the alpha was phenomenal, and I can't wait for the finished product. Um, the alpha. I mean, I don't know uh, much about. I can't really talk about balance or anything because it's an alpha. Uh, they were mostly just checking for you know graphical issues and. And technical problems, uh, which they got feedback on, like immediately. It turns out that all the Nvidia graphic car cards, uh, which I, ha which I have, uh, after playing after a certain while, or sometimes some some people encounter different different kind of problems. Like if you if you had a high kill death streak, or like if you had a if you had killed a lot of people in one kill streak, or uh, you know, something like that, something fishy like that. For me, it was every time I knifed somebody, uh, our computers, ju I mean, our games just crashed. And it was really weird, and we were like, the fuck? And every we immediately all started a forum and gave them feedback on that. Uh, which was, you know, uh, that, that sucked. <laughs> it sucked that NVIDIA was a little bugged. I think it was just like a driver uh, problem, but still, you know, that... I, st I, st I started to spend more time on the forums than in the actual game because <laughs> I don't I don't want to get my groove on and then just have the game you know break down on me. I mean that's that's awful. That's horrible. But I mean, damn, <laughs> I'm in the zone. Let me be in the zone. Uh, <laughs> um, then there were a lot of um, a lot of topics in the forums about. I'll start with the one that, that's, that's, that's on my mind at the moment, uh, the 3D spotting. A lot of people have expressed a lot of, not only frustration, but anger. They've said that the 3D spot has to go, that it's basically, you know, a wall hack, which I remember from Bad Company 2, there was like a similar topic and discussion about, about it in Bad Company 2. And first of all, I want to, I just want to say that you know, it's an alpha. They're they're probably going to tweak it. It's not, 
the finished product that they're probably gonna you know uh, mess around with them a little more and you know check what works uh, in my opinion I don't think it was a wall hack at all in fact I think that this is like our only defense against campers because in the first base the first section of the operation metro uh, it was in the park in the park there is a lot and I'm talking a lot of vegetation a lot of bushes a lot of trees that you know you can blow up and they fall down and people can hide under the trunks or uh, under under the tree itself or by the trunk or you know wherever and spotting these dudes is absolutely essential for you to even you know move to, for for you even to t take two steps without dying you have to be able to spot them through this uh, this vegetation to to able to be able to progress i mean it was nuts you know people have already said that yeah i've i've gotten you know 10 kill streak just by having people spot my enemies and i haven't even seen a single one of those kills and okay okay you know you can tweak that absolutely but people are talking about removing 3d spotting just you know inserting 2d spotting that that i don't like that idea at all i don't like the idea that i have a faint idea of where they are of where the enemy is and you know especially if there's like a camper you know camping in tall bushes or or damn even camping in um, you know pitch pitch darkness like in um, when you get in the tunnels at operation metro it's it's dark man it's it's dark you can i mean some places are like so dark you can't see the ground you can't see if there's like a rock or there's you know a piece of metal there so it's really easy for somebody to just camp there and just, you know, set up their little tent and um, start the marshmallows and and put up the bipod, the bipod, oh, holy shit, I'm coming to the bipod, uh, and just, you know, raining down fire on the enemies. I mean, uh, they've got an immediate jump on on everybody who's not, you know, expecting anybody I mean when you're walking around in the park you're not expecting a, an enemy to be in every bush so for you being able to spot somebody in the bushes like if he fires a shot and then everybody you know just spams Q in the general direction and somebody you know locks into a spotting him then you can take him out no problem if you're gonna you know employ 2d spotting it could be a little harder to to find them. Uh, I'm not saying that you know 3D spotting is you know that's that has to be the way to go. I'm just you know I feel like it wasn't OP in any in any way, not for me. And I had decent stats um, throughout all my games. Uh, I use it to help my friends. I use it to tell them you know where they are. I think it works great, and I hope they don't. I hope they don't remove it, remove it, or you know, tweak it, or you know, do what you want with it. Uh, some people have expressed that there will probably be people who you know enables, like they do that little MXL, you know, they they change up the coding a little, and then they just do that, you know, toggle Q all the time, which may that that I could agree that would be kind of. Nuts, man! If you could just like <laughs> wherever you point, the Q, the toggle um, spotting button is always enabled, so you can just like you know, I, I, you know, I could agree that that would be a little, you know, that's abusing. We don't like abusers. We don't love, like abusing mechanics, but I'm sure that Dice will tweak it in some way. I don't think that people sh that Dice should remove it. Definitely not. I think it works great. I think it helps the team to see where you know a co big concentration of enemies are and you know if there's a camper you can quickly take him out and generally it feels like uh, you know that the the spotting really encourages people to move because you, as I said you can't stand around in one area because you will get spotted sooner or later and you will get taken down uh, especially since they upped the you know they upped the pacing but they also upped uh, the damage which I will be talking about in the next video because apparently I'm running out of time so chuloop loop